Carr from obviously Fight Talk. I'm here with Mohammed Sahid from Brave Combat Federation, uh, of the CEO, new company. Uh, you're hoping to do great things, clearly from the pressure pressure that we were just at. Um, what's the scene like in Bahrain now with mixed martial arts? So, uh, Brave Combat Federation is a new promotion in Bahrain and uh, it's, it's just uh, launched a month back. But uh, KHK MMA and the vision of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid al-Khalifa uh, has been uh, started since March of 2015. Uh, our goal was simple, not managing fighters, not promoting fights, nothing. But just to give a vision of uh, helping fighters live a different life that, that is similar to the uh, life of any other athletes out there. Football, NFL, baseball, basketball, cricket. So. We signed up fighters who are at the top level of the food chain from Khabib uh, Nurmagomedov and uh, Frankie Edgar Islam Makhachev who are in the UFC. And then we looked at the second tier, which are uh, fighters like uh, Eldar Eldarov, Hamza Kohiji, uh, who are from different other regions, who has been in the pro level. Yeah. And then we looked at the third level of fighters who are just uh, getting off their amateur careers. How can we help every one of these guys? You know, so that was a key for us. And. Uh, in one year's time, uh, we saw a huge result with uh, Frank Yetri getting the title shot. Uh, Frank, uh, Khabib coming back after his uh, recovery, doing a great recovery program back in Bahrain with KHK and Mejim. And he, he was 100% fit and you saw the result of his fights. And then, even more interesting part was when uh, athletes like Shardy Torres, who got signed at the press conference in Bahrain, Titan FC, even before his first pro fight, uh, uh, James Gallagher doing great and now signed up for Bellator MMA. Uh, so the result of what KHK MMA has done was amazing. Franz Malambo now signed with Brave Combat Federation. So we, we, we're looking out for these guys and uh, we're taking them to great heights. But uh, do we limit that with the 10, 15 fighters that we have? Or do we take it to the next step and do it for the out there, the 20,000 20, people, 2 million fighters that's out there? God knows how many, but we want to help them all. So that's where Brave Combat Federation came in. But with KHK MMA in 2015, March, it has been a, as big as how big it, Ireland has been since Conor McGregor. That's how fast the impact has been in Bahrain since KHK MMA. Wow. It's, 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 it's amazing. We have uh, uh, six fights in our first KHK amateur national tryouts, and the second fight we couldn't sign any more fights. Yeah. You know, <laughs> So that was just the next month. Yeah. So <laughs> that's how crazy it went. We got uh, over 12 to 13 gyms already starting in that small country. So uh, it's, it's been amazing for us, uh, and uh, we look to keep it that way. And yeah. with this, we're not just looking at Bahrain. We're trying to take Bahrain to the world and take the world to, the Bah uh, to Bahrain. Yeah. That's our goal. Very good. So next week, the 23rd of September, Brave One takes place. Excited. Yeah, very exciting. Um, where is it taking place? What's the arena called? And it's called Khalifa Sports City. It's, mm -hmm. an, it's a town uh, in Bahrain. Uh, it's, it's a center point for all the people in Bahrain to come down. It's an easy spot to catch up. And uh, it's, Bahrain is a multicultural uh, country. There's so much going on there. And uh, we, got, uh, we got a huge fan base for Filipino fighters. We got a huge fan base for the Indian fighters. Uh, we got uh, a lot of uh, US people there. Uh, it's, it's going to be crazy because we're going to have, I think, every different country come with their own flags and banners and to show what Bahrain stands for. Yeah. It stands for a multicultural country. And uh, it's amazing that that day is going to be one of the historic days for uh, Bahrain to uh, launch their first sports and entertainment uh, company, having their promotion, uh, bringing the world to Bahrain. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm super excited to see how, uh, how the people react to it. Uh, they've been... Uh, the, the response that we got after the first press conference last month mm -hmm. And uh, till today was unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> you see every corner and streets people talking about Brave Combat Federation. Uh, what I will say is Bahrain is branded Brave now. Yeah, you know? very good. Uh, capacity was, what are you hoping to, what will be a successful uh, pay per view for Brave One? Yeah, so, so, so uh, the tickets are already sold out for us. Oh, very so good. yeah, so it's, it's, it's one week to go for the event. The tickets are sold out. Uh, uh, I think. To have a ticket sold out one week before an event in Bahrain is, is something that, that shocks me, that shocks everybody. I mean, it's, it's never happened. The event has not been that super successful being uh, mixed martial arts as a new sport to, to the country. So it's, been, it's, it's already a great success for us right now. Uh, but uh, we are not limited to that. I mean, we're not limited to Bahrain. So what we're thinking is uh, what impressed the people the most is that we're bringing down the best fighters and keeping those fighters there, but 
giving a lot of support to the people who wants to support this fighter. So we're just looking for how how can we make this fighter feel so good, yeah. feel comfortable, and uh, have the support that they get. Bahrain being a multicultural country, every Filipino fighter that come to Bahrain, believe me, they're gonna feel like they're in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And every Indian fighter comes to the country. We have six hundred thousand Indians in uh, Bahrain, so they're gonna have a lot of fan base coming out there. We got the embassies of Philippines embassy, Indian embassy, all of them supporting them. So it's not just a fight fans but we're yeah. having the government backing them it's it's it's, it's unbelievable how, what's going on in bahrain yeah, right now so it's, it's, it's crazy. an mma favor in bahrain oh yeah amazing yeah so obviously it's in bahrain people around the world will want to watch brave yeah. one best place to watch brave one bravefights.com brave that's, that's that's the best place to watch it and um just not uh, uh the brave event you're gonna have a lot of content from brave uh we have episodes i am brave episodes we have brave episodes on the main event and co-main event uh it's all released right now there's one more uh, brave episode part two is going to be released in the next uh, two days so it's, it's it's a lot of content for them to watch understand the fighters i mean they will really see from the episodes it's not that what we see in most of the promotions about how cool the fighter is. But what we're trying to show is that uh, we're trying to let people know who the fighter is, his story out there uh, in a different way uh, than what we've seen in the past MMA promotions. So what we're trying to basically do is promote these athletes in a different way where, where we let their people know what his roots are, what his cultures are, wh where he's come from, and uh, uh, most importantly, his road to brave yeah. and that's most important for us because being in braver how it works doesn't help as long as the road is uh, explained properly to these uh, people and they really understand w what this fighter stand for very good very good so if we get away from bahrain for a minute you're obviously you're doing your presser in dublin today yeah and um, you hinted on it earlier about how big mixed martial arts here here is in ireland clearly you have plans yeah to come here for you, sure it was hinted in the presser sometime in spring um, and you're looking at probably about a thousand seats like you know that's a it's a good ask for you know well a lot of people here wouldn't know much about brave obviously yeah. hopefully after the 20 tours we will what's obviously the dream for when you come to dublin uh, for me thousand seats is me, me being nice actually <laughs> but uh see what i think is after Brave won, uh, the first Brave, they're going to know a lot of stories about these Irish fighters. And uh, now that they're going to know stories about the Irish fighters, but they're going to have the world talk about the Irish fighters. My goal is to let their stories yeah. out to the rest of the world. Yeah. And uh, Ireland knows their fighters. Yeah. What we want to see is, my goal of coming to Dublin is to show the world, this is the fighter that I spoke to you about, this is the country that I spoke to you about. and. Uh, this is where MMA is having the biggest impact. And I want to show the rest of the world the story of Ireland and their MMA fights. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm here. And uh, it's just not just Ireland, but the whole of Europe. They have strong fighters, tough fighters, ec excellent uh, quality fighters, and so much passion in the sport. Let the world know it. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, that's our, that's our plan, is to tell the story, not to look for a story. And uh, I think I'm good at telling stories. So yeah, clearly. <laughs> that's, that's, clearly what, that's what I do. Yeah. What? the plan for that how big do you want to be like we have Bama here which would be uh, Europe's biggest promotion do you want to aim for Europe or higher so that's an interesting question I mean I always tell people when it comes to the MMA business there's two kinds of business in MMA there's a there's, uh, uh, big dogs who are <laughs> the, at, the, at the top of the food chain uh, and then there are promotions that are regionally big promotions and uh, believe me I, I, I've had all my fights in India my students have been fighting all their life in the uh, Middle Eastern promotions uh, and they're all regional promotions I got friends who, who's been fighting in uh, Brazilian regional promotions the biggest of them <coughs> but what I don't understand basically is that how are these fighters who are going to be regionally promoted uh, get international recognition if the promotion itself is a regionally top promotion? Yeah. So what we say is uh, we want to be a promotion that's going to tell the story of these fighters to the world level. And uh, we are there to go face to face with the biggest promotion, not to compete with any promotion. That's not, that's not what we stand for. Who, uh, what we want to do is how can we tell their stories better uh, to every country that's out there? Uh, to every fighter's uh, families, their friends uh, back in their country. And I want our fighters, a fighter from Ireland, a fighter from Bahrain, a fighter from Brazil, India, their families can hear his story from the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's, that's gonna show how big Brave Combat Federation is. Today, with Brave Combat Federation uh, gonna be launched on September 20, uh, 23rd, 
uh, the media exposure that we got for our fighters has been phenomenal. I mean, uh, we got Mexico, USA, Brazil, uh, Jordan, uh, the whole of Middle East, uh, basically, and uh, Asia, India. It, it's just going crazy. We haven't done our first event yet, mm -hmm. you know, so the tickets are sold out. So um, the, the, the best thing what we're going to do is uh, go out there and show the world what we stand for. Now, my question for the world is, or let's say the fighters, who are the real product of the sport is, uh, do you want to go sell your story or do you want a promotion that wants to tell your story? You know, So that will answer all the questions and how big we're going to be. I think we're going to be a global promotion, a global force in the next two to three years. Uh, thank you very much, Mohamed. Pleasure is mine. Thank you for having me. Thank you.